Greetings and welcome back to Star Drive 2. So last time we discovered the Czech affiliation and oh yeah so they seem to be on this side and we also have the red crystals over here so I think it would be appropriate if I were to migrate my fleet uh, a bit closer over here so I'm gonna put them in orbit around this place for now because this does have a a station as well and they should be fairly close to the murder system so <laughs> normally they should be able to uh, help them in case we have an invasion and yeah we are getting close to the uh, to turn 200 and seeing as we did now discover another empire we might be getting that event where we have the uh, the people the faction in our government that wants us to attack them instead of um, them attacking us so yeah let's see what else I need to do we are making some freighters down here what do I need afterwards some freighters I'm making more freighters and I'm gonna be needing more ships unfortunately my ships aren't very advanced yet I guess I could make a broadside and a bunch of corvettes To accompany it uh, no there we go all right I wish there were like buttons for the build queue that like allowed you to move it up or down completely so like buttons to uh, move it to the top move it to the bottom that would be kind of handy okay so yeah we still have issues with this whole pollution problem which is actually very bad, seeing as Kortron Ot is the only place where I can do any farming. So, how much are they actually outputting? Three. <laughs> That's absolutely not a lot. Well, yeah, of course they are consuming it, but still. Um, that's bad. So uh, let us continue. Also this construction. Oh, right. And we got to research something. So yeah, I did think it over and I'm going to go over here for polymer armor because I can get fighter bay technology from the Chuck, which I should actually be doing right away. I think before we have to declare war on them. Um, so let's, I'm also going to be getting smart blood here because I think it's the the best thing. This will allow me to get stronger ground troops, which is kind of important. These organic components would allow me to get more uh, repair in the field on my ships, but seeing as I kind of want to go for shields rather than rather than uh, armor, I don't think this will be all that crucial, seeing as if my shields do go down, then well, my ship probably is either lost or very damaged anyway, so this uh, little buff would not be doing all that much. So I'm gonna go with polymer armor. Alright, that's settled. It's only five turns. Scouts have arrived at the Unity system. Oh, okay, so uh, what does this look like? We have another wormhole. Ultra pore. Okay, there's actually something down here. Let's go and have a look. I might actually run out of fuel here, but uh, that's okay. Let's have a look and then it'll just go automatically back to my territory when it's out of fuel. Uh, we also have this this guy right here. I'm gonna be putting it around here perhaps. Maybe not in their territory, they might not like that. So I'm gonna put it in uh, the neutral zone basically, so yeah. They actually have a lot of territory, but still, that doesn't say everything. We also got these guys. Let's put it over here, because I do think this would be the way that they would come. They would probably try to avoid the ion storm. So yeah, let's put let's put it around there. Okay. Oh. Um, talk who is this herm club what the hell 
uh, it has been some time since we received a visitor from the Great Black Sea of Stars. We live in a peaceful life of isolation here. If you want to buy some fish, we have plenty. Alright. So, what is this? We should import some of that sweet Herm Glucklean lobster. Who doesn't have a good uh, Herm Glucklean lobster? So, we'd be getting a bunch of approval for money for 50 turns. Well, not yet. I might go back there later on. Now we gotta go back to our territory with our ship. In the meantime, we are losing money because of our fleet. But we should be arriving here pretty soon. ETA is three turns, so that's not too bad. Alright. Xena mine almost done. We are making another broadside here. And a construction ship there. Okay. Let's send this construction ship over here to build a listening post. All oh, right, and this guy arrived. Oh, and we got polymer armor. So let's put the listening post up here. And this one around here. This should give us an idea whenever someone wants to enter our territory. I might put some uh, one around here as well, just to be safe. I might still have a construction vessel somewhere. Maybe not. These are all science cruisers. What about down here? No, this is just my fleet. Uh, what else am I gonna do? Xenomine is almost done. What am I building afterwards? The starbase. Alright, that's fine. And over here we are building the fleet academy. And here we are not building anything. What do I need back here? Maybe another construction ship for the other listening post. Yeah, let's queue that up. And afterwards... Uh, let's get a few more of these corvettes. Oh, right, and uh, research. So, uh, yeah, we also have the choice here, and I am i haven't really decided yet. It's probably either the asteroid superstructure or the orbital habitat. Possibly the habitat, because I do have plenty of planets and not that many asteroids. It would make the asteroids quite useful, I suppose. Ultra rich, and they would go up to how much is it? Plus two population cap. So they would be up to three population on an asteroid with uh, 10 production per worker. That is without any buildings, but I'm not even sure if you can build anything on an asteroid field. So I haven't actually colonized any of those yet before. So I might actually colonize it before I do the research. So let's put up a colony ship around here. Let's... Um, yeah, after the construction ship is fine. So let's not do this yet. Let's in the meantime get smart blood. Okay, that's good. Okay, Xenomine has been built on murder. <laughs> uh, now we are building a starbase. It still takes me quite a lot of time, apparently. How is my population doing? I guess we could ship out one more person. We will be getting a new one in two turns here. So let's do that. Let's ship one to murder. There we go. We should not be getting any starvation anywhere. No, seems fine. We'll be getting another broadside here. That's good. And now we're getting a whole bunch of these corvettes. Uh, oh, that's nice. Private shipyards at Gordon Watt. So... Oh, that's for rushing the ships. Okay, well, that's still fine. I might need to rush ships eventually. 
We are not making any money though, but that's bad. So let's up the taxes a little bit so that we don't go broke. About five per turn would do. Now we are building the colony ship. We should have a construction vessel here. Let's send it out down here for a listening post. And this one is almost at its destination. Let's send it out a little further into this void. Or maybe down here would do. Near these planets. Because someone might actually come from this way. Oh, okay. I'm gonna build something down here. And that's exactly why I always put the trade goods in the queue. Because I would be losing, as you can see, I would be losing two currency from this. So that wouldn't be good. Now, what do we build? Do we have pollution here? Uh, we got a bit of pollution, but not that much yet because we don't only have two people working here. So. I guess I could. Well, I don't know. Colony ship, freighters. We got a lot of freighters. Let's queue up a colony ship. Seems fine. We also have a decent planet around here. Uh, abundant with underground ocean. So this would actually output a lot of food per farmer. So that's actually also a possibility to colonize. That would give me another, uh, a better farming planet. Although it only has six population, for now anyway. So... Yeah. <laughs> also, I gotta go check out this derelict ship. I will be doing that once I get this smart blood thing. And then I can... And I guess I could upgrade a few of these. Although, no, most of the upgrades are actually automatic. The polymer armor just gives you a hit point buff on your guys. Uh, who do we have? Le Tigre, the Enforcer. More labor, more research, more farming. For 2 BC per turn. And you are a warrior. May you participate in ground combat. Well, I guess I could hire you. It's better than nothing. I can put you in command of some system. I guess... For now I could put him over here perhaps, or... Not sure. Okay, well let's put him in command of murder, because this is the furthest out system that I have. Okay, a colony ship. There we go. And I was going to send it to a asteroid field. I suppose I could send it to this one. Because this is already in a system that I have populated. And I can check out what it actually does. Okay, seems like the queue has ended at Cordon Ott. So, one more turn for the next civilian. That's good. So, what do we build next? Maybe another broadside? I guess that could work. Yeah, let's do another broadside. I might need them soon enough. It's only a matter of time until I have to fight either a Czech affiliation or someone else. It always happens. Oh crap, I actually went to zero money. That wasn't good, I totally did not notice. And hostile fleet, that is gonna attack this guy. That's not good. Can it outrun it? Um, how many? Only two. Okay, well, let's send out our fleet. 
uh, to the murder system around here. What's this ship anyway? Oh, that's our leader. Okay. It actually got away. And it's just standing there. Okay, that's good. We'll go attack it. Now we will need to ramp up the taxes again because we are losing a lot of money. Let's put it up to 10. That'll do. Now I might actually... Yeah, let's... Let, let's... Uh, put this one on trade goods for the moment. Or maybe build this one. Collect the net in the meantime. And yeah, let's just do that. smart blood excellent so I might actually send over these troops from cordon up they got a bunch of upgrades so we should be fine but let's uh, totally oh you actually need to equip that okay well fair enough um, let's first of all give them all heavy armor I didn't know you had to equip it so that's kind of unfortunate but still I can only bring five to that battle, that I know. So I should only be bringing five. So we got a whole bunch of laser rifles here, which are sometimes good, but not always. So let's get a pistol for this guy. You'll be the medic and let's get rid of this shield and get you smart blood. I think that'll be a lot more useful than the shield. This guy is melee. Well, let's keep you as melee, but let's get rid of the medkit and get the smart blood. Okay, so that should work. We got three people with a rifle. We got uh, two medics and and one melee person. All right. Let's make sure we pick the right ones. So we don't pick this one. We pick all of those. And let's launch. And. Now I should be able to find my troops somewhere. That's right, I got a big fleet now here because of all these uh, corvettes and a lot of science cruisers, of course. Let's pick out the troops and send them to the uh, derelict ship. Oh, right, and we gotta do some more research. I think I will be going for proximity mines here. They are uh, quite useful. And they should be... Oh, it's the ship module. No, no, that's not the one I wanted. It's the... Um... I'm not sure where it is. You're supposed to be able to build mines to surround your ships. Uh, not your ships, your station. Which is actually pretty good. At least I think so. I'm not sure where the hell it is. It's uh, somewhat confusing because these technologies don't really seem to always stick to their category. I'm not even sure if they are categories. So this is supposed to be about biochemistry, but this is all about mines and cluster cannons. I'm not sure what the significance of biochemistry and all of that is. Now, if these were bio biological toxins and all that sort of stuff, then it would have made sense, but still. Right, so what do I need to research? I haven't really decided on this one yet. Have I? No, I haven't yet. I'm almost there. I will be colonizing that asteroid next turn. So, um... We also got these things. Main engineering is kind of useful for uh, you use up a lot less power. So, that means you only you don't need to use all that much space for your uh, power systems. Hmm. It's always a difficult choice in this game. <laughs> and I guess I kind of like that because... Yeah, choices. Um, let's see, pulse cannons is ship, mass drivers is ship, 
I may, get, may go for the rail rifles. Yeah, let's let's go rail rifle for my troops. It's actually only five turns. That's good. Now there we go. We can colonize this one. All right, there we go. And yeah, okay. As I expected, we cannot actually build anything there, or can we? This is all blacked out, but can we actually build anything here? Uh, let's see. Let's do trade goods first, and we're losing a lot of money for some reason. Fleet maintenance, colony maintenance. That's bad. Maybe I shouldn't expand that much, but still. Xenomine. 15 turns, okay. Alright, so apparently we can build things down there. We are losing a lot of money, so let's up the taxes for the moment until we are at zero. That's gonna cut down on production quite a bit, but still. Yeah, I'm way over my budget. Alright, there we go. Let's fight this one out. We got our two broadsides. We put them in the front. And let's put these guys in the back. And let's begin. Let's get all the... For some reason I cannot select them. There we go. Let's get all these guys to shoot at one of those. I can occupy one of the crystals with my other broadside. Those can hit. Yeah, that's sort of the issue with the fact that they are faster than the rockets. They might actually take out this one frigate. Because they just get behind my lines. No, actually not. Okay, so... I should be getting a few good shots with the broadsides, I hope. doing it's about to go okay so luckily we killed him before this one got killed I think we might have gotten a few more commendations I'm not sure anymore okay now let's quickly send our fleet to murder so that the uh, Fleet capacity goes down, and okay. Um, well, why can't I send the troops? Wait a minute. Oh crap, I'm an idiot. I sent this whole fleet out with the troops. Well, that's kind of the reason why my economy tanked. Okay, let's, let's send these guys back. That was terrible. Okay, we just need these ones. Uh, let's go in with ground forces. We should be fighting a bunch of bugs here. And, yeah, okay, we got the loud music again. Sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot that this game has some sound issues. Right. Okay, now let's take a look. We have... Where is my melee guy? Uh, my melee guy is down here. I'm gonna put him in the middle. And I'm gonna be moving out my people with the rifles. Actually, I have one with a pistol. This one with a pistol. I'm gonna move him down here. And let's move you down there. Okay. Now I'm just gonna wait until they arrive. Let's one turn. That's another one. I gotta hold. One more. And they go into these bottlenecks here, which I should be able to use to uh, shoot them. So let's go ahead and shoot this dude. I 
got the guy with the pistol who actually cannot reach them. Let's uh, do this one first then. This one down and this one should still be able to shoot this one. Okay, there we go. Now, we still got the pistol guy. Which cannot go that far, so let's move him up here. Okay, he's down. And that's pretty much all I can do at the moment. Let's end another turn. Now these guys will be able to shoot soon enough. So... Oh, crap. What the hell did I do? Okay. Well, that was a waste. I first want to kill this guy, but uh, he's out of range. Okay, I can shoot with him. That's one. He's down. Now this guy can take two shots at him. Almost down. Now we got... Um, Okay, the one with the pistol can shoot him. Let's do that right away. Now let's move in our melee person. He still has uh, six action points, that's good. Might be able to kill him. Yes, indeed. Now this one can still take two shots at this guy. Okay, there we go. Let's have the turn. These guys will take some shots. That's a bunch of damage, but uh, I do have the uh, regeneration, so that's very good. Let's get my melee guy to kill this one. There we go. He's dead, now we just gotta kill this one. Unfortunately, my melee guy is in the way, though I can move him, so that's good. And... I'm just uh, kind of checking if I can get in the range. Uh, not really. I'm gonna end the turn. Okay, he's gonna shoot again. That bastard. But uh, luckily I do have the regeneration, so that's very useful. Let's move him in. Let's move this guy in as well. Let's get the melee guy up. I'm gonna move the pistol guy down here. And now you over there, and you can shoot, that's good. Shoot once, you can still... Oh, crap, you can't uh, shoot him apparently, or can you? No, you can't, too far away. Oh well. And these have no action points. Return. Okay, now let's kill this dude. Line of sight blocked, but still, he hit. There we go. I do like these uh, little owls. <laughs> Let's just uh, skip the text. It's pretty much always the same with the first Dera Licked Ship. Uh, let's finish. So we found some stuff in there and we should be getting a new mission. So the mystery unfolds. So yeah, they found a uh, star drive, which is pretty much the same design as one we have, but in a different alien language, and uh, yeah, we just investigate. Oh, and now we have uh, fusion carabines. Okay, that's cool. Those are actually very cool. <laughs> I actually like those because, well, I don't know. I'm gonna show it eventually. Well, I can show it now, I suppose. So, fusion carabine. As you can see, uh, they shoot uh, three bursts that do um, six damage. I'm not sure if it's a uh, full six damage or if it's random, but anyway. And they have a range of one to five, which is actually good if you compare it to the normal pistol, is one to three. And the laser rifle is 4 to 6, which means you can't shoot anything that is right next to you. Which kind of makes you a sitting duck in case you are fighting against melee opponents. If they close in, you can't really 
run away again because if you do run away by the time you are enough uh, far away enough to shoot you are pretty much out of action points anyway so uh, these fusion carbines are pretty good they are kind of similar to the rail rifles that I'm researching but uh, these ones are pretty good so I'll be equipping a bunch of my guys with that once I can let's send our troops back to Cordon Ott All right, now what else should I be doing? Uh, anything to build? Uh, we are still doing fine. Oh, what have we got? They want money or they will eat us. Well, no. <laughs> oh, right, then I should be putting my... Uh, listening post around here. This level will also allow me to see whenever one of these guys spawn. Oh yeah, and I guess this is the new mission. Derelict Origin. Yeah, I'm not gonna go there just yet because uh, small planetoid. I know what's there. It's uh, pretty bad. <laughs> I wanna get some more. Oh, oh crap. Alright, well, there we go. The thing that I feared was gonna happen will happen. So... Yeah, I think we'll have to uh, wage war with the Chuck affiliation because these uh, guys are gonna kill me. And if they don't kill me, they will pretty much wreck me. <laughs> I, I might be able to win, but I won't be in a good shape. So, yes, let's declare war with the Chucks. And we have rail rifles. Uh, luckily, we have a listening post down here. And the whole fleet should be at murder. That reminds me, we should be moving this fleet to murder as well. Well, not all of them, not the science cruisers, but uh, these guys. Let's move them off. Because we will be attacked eventually by them. I'm not sure where they will be coming from, but it'll be tricky. We should have some ships around here as well. Science cruiser and a bunch of corvettes. Well, I might keep these Corvettes around here. You never know. We might meet, need some uh, defense. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna move these guys up to my capital so that they can. What's this anyway? Oh, a broadside. Okay, I guess I'm gonna move this one to murder as well. And I'm gonna move this fleet to the capital. Oh, and we gotta do some research. So yeah, here I can choose between the shields and... Uh, oh yeah, and I totally forgot about doing the trade with Chuck before we had to declare war. So yeah, kind of my bad. <laughs> but still. So we got some choices here. Alright, well, I guess I'll be choosing next time because I want to kind of think it over. And yeah, we'll have a, a war on our hands pretty soon. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.